Welcome back to my first part where I'm showing you the Banana Pi Plus development board uh, from Sinovoip and the hardware is based on all winner chipset H3 so basically the chip supports 2K 4K playback but under Kodi uh, it doesn't work and I've tested it with Open Elac. there's also an image for Open Elac, so you can enjoy Kodi and it does work at 1080p resolution so you can use it for Kodi also as a media streaming device so this is the basically the casing of the product not included in the default package including the external antenna also not included it has 1 GB RAM and the processor supports up to clock speed of 1.4 GHz it's a quad core processor it has a GPIO interface like the Raspberry Pi and on the back you have the HDMI, power DC input Ethernet LAN, two USB ports, one is currently occupied with my uh, Bluetooth dongle on the left you have a remote option here micro SD card, OTG and the power of the reset with the OTG you can also uh, use it for the power supply unit but not recommended because it's not currently so stable so better use the DC input and buy a power supply like this one more stable, works great and on the left like I said there's a, the power or the reset and the antenna connection here so that's basically it, it has a camera interface I think you or a LCD screen not sure on board so that's it and uh, in the second part video I'll show you how this baby works under a Linux environment so stay tuned and thanks for watching bye back uh, this is the open ELEC, uh, image the final version for the Banana Pi Plus and it works really really nice and I'll show you a quick demo to show you how the performance is uh, when playing a 1080p video a few samples have, I have so for example this one you can see no frame dropping or skipping here it is an illusion to protect you. Enjoy these final moments of peace. So this is open I have returned to have my vengeance. Let's try another sample. Also a 1080p. still works very smooth so this, this is the open ELAC an image another image different format if you expect it to work with 2K and 4K you'll be disappointed because maybe the chip supports it the GPU is not strong enough to decode the video so I'm just informing you 1080p works smooth and only 1080p another sample from Samsung Let's switch back to Open Elec settings and I'll show you general information. And I have about 771 megabytes of RAM 
from one, from total of one GB of RAM. And the screen resolution it's full HD. It's 60 frames per second. 60 hertz, sorry. And you can also check other stuff here. Network I'm currently connected. It has this board has a built-in Wi-Fi chip on the on the board itself. So you don't need to use any Wi-Fi stick dongle. So this is here you can see the general information about the processor. It runs Kodi 16.1. So that's system information and under network connections you can see I'm currently connected so I have Wi-Fi also so that's basically it for the open Elok image for the banana uh, pie plus thanks for watching and bye Back. This is another uh, Linux distribution called Kano or Kano OS. And I think it's based on Ubuntu also. Very nice UI. It's currently in beta phase, so it runs on this Banana Pi board also. Pretty cool UI, I think. So it's not the final image. The UI is pretty nice. You have options very user friendly you have options for overclocking the CPU also and Wi-Fi settings also again it's in beta phase and you have really nice features here it looks like for kids but it's not very very creative Linux distribution and you have also the browser here Maybe games here, really nice. So you have Chrome here, here are the controls for the audio, all the settings. Right now, I'm not using any heat sync on the processor, so it may be pretty slow because of that again you have nice features comes pre-installed with few games including Minecraft well designed distribution so we'll wait for the final version very very nice here you can install all the applications all the games the UI looks great, so I hope they finalize the final version to work perfect on this development board. So that's Kano Linux, pretty cool distribution. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to my last part of the video showing you my third distribution demo. So stay tuned and bye. Okay, that's my last distribution demo and I forgot to mention this board also supports the uh, Android KitKat image Right now I'm loading another Linux distribution also based on Ubuntu Okay So this is another Ubuntu distribution here you can see audio also works so I have a slider here and it basically about the applications including LibreOffice let's check how it works
Again, I'm not using any heatsink, works nice. So you have Office also pre-installed in this distribution. And of course you have all other stuff here, games, also Minecraft. And programming tools. SM player. It's kind of a media player. So you can play videos. So that's another uh, Ubuntu distribution. You can change monitor settings. Everything works fast. You can also set the keyboards. Keyboard layouts, also you can add, you can see the layout here, so it works really fast, again, you can see the response, here you can connect to the Wi-Fi, you can see it already identified my uh, LAN. So let's try connect to my LAN. If not, I need to set a few stuff here. Anyway, you have an option here. Okay, let's check again if not I need to configure my LAN settings if it doesn't work volume control settings you can see it's already installed all the drivers so this is a good thing, uh, company also installed the, all the drivers and you have all the other features you can see in Linux, uh, terminal works very fast also, system works fast again and what else? System information. Okay, here you can see CPU usage for all four cores. You can see it's very low. The running process here. System information. Raspberry based on Ubuntu. Basically, it's the same. So, this is the distribution. You can see it uh, recognize memory 1 GB. So that's Raspberry Linux distribution. So uh, basically, I hope you enjoyed my quick demo how this board works on the Linux distributions. So thanks for watching, and of course, you're welcome to like my YouTube channel and join. And bye.